murals um, are created by artists to represent the community. The challenge is about Nero to to create this piece where everybody can vision themselves or their situations or whatever. It's just a challenge to get everything in one picture. For me, it's to respect the, the person that we're uh, showing and to get um, the actual feel of the person's background uh, for what we're uh, supposed to be doing. And we're doing the best we can with what we got and with our imaginations. Uh, the challenging part to this mural, it's uh, for the artist, it's to combine the voices of a lot of people, especially when they are expecting to see them in the picture. So that's the hardest part. Um, it's just, to me, it's interpreting another student's culture and then trying to put our view on it too. And just trying to represent what they wrote about in their story. Was it was like what Jack Becker said in his article that public art creates a dynamic exchange between the audience, the creators, right. and um, that exchange in itself is part of the art. Yes, absolutely. So it's it's and this was so great because usually it's the mural and then people who are around it who are going to see mm -hmm. it. But this what had three components. So it's the students who were the, the beautiful where the idea came from to represent them. Then the mural and then who's going to come into the classroom and see that mural, which will be a variety of students. Mm -hmm. um, and that's why again it's like I get to relive the experience. I get to unveil it every quarter and say, hey, here we go. I'm talking about contrast. I'm talking about a main idea. I'm talking about visual hierarchy. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about something receding so something can be more important. Um, and it's all about decision making. I've learned that many people have different styles. Um, that uh, my class has some also different variety of people from different ethnicities and uh, that also interacts with their styles and how they do things. So uh, that's something that I really learned and I found a little bit appreciating. I see my students walk in and they look, you know, and they walk in the door and they're like, wow, you know, and, yeah, and, yeah. and it just sets the tone. It's like, this is a magical place. This, yeah. is, a, this is a place, this is an environment who, that honors who I am. Uh, it's a remarkable work when you think about it as kind of our inner self as an institution and the way it reflects what we aspire to be and the way it embodies our values. It's a pretty remarkable piece that connects the ultimate in learning into expression.